as we said previously, a processed food is any food that's been altered in some way. Food processing can be freezing, canning, drying or baking, but not everything that's been processed is high in salt. Frozen vegetables, for example, or dry pasta or oats, they've been altered slightly, but usually don't have added salt. Here we have some examples of processed foods containing salt. So processed meats such as sausage, corned beef and Spam and those that have been smoked or cured such as bacon or ham are often very high in salt. Smoked fish, fish tinned in brine, breaded fish and seafood such as prawns are also high. If you're eating a lot of this type of meat and fish then it's likely they contribute a large proportion of the salt you're eating. Canned and jarred foods can often contain salt, especially those preserved in brine, as well as soups and pasta sauces. Products that have been dried, such as instant pasta or noodle pots and frozen potato products tend to contain a lot. Snack foods and puddings, as well as ready-made baked goods. One of these giant crumpets has as much salt as five bags of ready salted crisps. Ready-made seasoning mixes, pickles and condiments are often high in salt, even the sweet or creamy tasting ones like ketchup and mayonnaise. Soy sauce and fish sauce are particularly high. And finally some everyday foods such as cereal, butter, bread and cheese. Feta, halloumi and blue cheese are quite high and cheddar if you eat in large portions would add a lot as well. Even these breakfast cereals that taste plain or sweet actually have salt in. So for lots of people, this type of food will make up the majority of foods they eat. And that's absolutely fine, you don't have to give up your favourites. This really was just to show you how widely salt is used in our food. And actually a lot of these products don't need as much salt in as they have. You can get two packets of bacon and one will have half the salt in and you might not even notice. It's still going to be salty, just not as salty. So there are versions of nearly all of these things with slightly less salt and it would just be a good idea to keep an eye out for things that are overly salty and see if you can find an alternative. Occasionally you won't be able to, some foods will always be salty and in this case we would just suggest to have a little less or just a little less often. But the only real way of knowing how much salt is in your food is to check the label and we'll talk more about how to do this and how to find a lower salt version in the next video. There are also lots of foods that are lower in salt. The unprocessed fresh cuts of meat and fish, the fruit and veg, unsalted dairy products, lentils and beans. The plain cereals like oats, pasta and rice will only have salt if you add it. So it's a good idea to incorporate some of these into your diet if you can. Processed foods include anything that have been altered during preservation or preparation. Salt can be found in a wide array of products. There are lots of lower salt alternatives out there, but the only real way to know is to check the label.